Otzi is a 5,300-year-old glacier mummy found in the Italian Alps of South Tyrol, Italy. He was discovered initially on September 19, 1991, by tourists crossing the glacier that he died on. Otzi was from the late Neolithic period, also called the Copper Age, and died sometime between 3370 and 3100 BCE. Otzi was around 45 years old when he died. The artifacts associated with Otzi were found in the vicinity of his body and in a glacier gully nearby. He had archery gear with him, including an unfinished bow of yew wood, a leather quiver with 12 unfinished arrows, as well as two arrows with stone arrowheads still attached. The most famous tool associated with Otzi was a copper-bladed axe, a valuable tool in his time. Otzi wore a leather belt with a pouch, which contained small flint tools and pyrite and dried fungus for fire starting. When his body was removed from the ice, several tools were found underneath, including a pressure flaker and his flint dagger. The material for my dagger is lessening flint from Italy, which is the same or very similar to the flint Otzi made his knife and other tools from. I got this lessening flint in a trade with a flint napper from Italy. The discovery of Otzi was extremely significant to archaeology for several reasons. The preservation of his soft tissues allowed archaeologists to better reconstruct what life was like for someone in that time and place. Otzi's organic objects and clothing were well preserved which is extremely rare for these types of objects in an archaeological setting. Otzi's tools are most like that of the Northern Italian tradition, but also that of the Swiss organ culture. Based on the plant species in his gear and isotope analysis performed on his body, Otzi was from the lower Vinchka, the main valley one to two days walk south from the site of his discovery. Otzi had retouched his flint tools extensively as a consequence of not having access to chert for some time in the days leading up to his death. Several of his tools, including the arrowheads on his two complete arrows, show signs of being repurposed for cutting An arrowhead was found lodged in the ice man's left shoulder, which was likely the cause of his death. He also suffered a stab wound to his hand and blunt force trauma 48 to 24 hours before his death.
Otzi's dagger has a total length of 132 millimeters, although it would have been longer if not for the missing tip of the dagger blade. The handle is made from ash wood and bound in place by sinew. Pitch or birch tar was not used for hafting his dagger. As can be seen, this recreation is wider than the original. Atsuya had retouched his knife at least one time after its initial creation, possibly more. This recreation is an unresharpened version of what Atsuya's knife may have looked like.
The base of Otzi's dagger is odd in that it has two hafting systems, both notches and a stem below that. Most bifacial tools have one or the other, but having both is very rare. Other comparable dagger blades have been found archaeologically, which are shown in this illustration. Otzi's blade had an ashwood handle, which is the wood I'm using for this recreation. I chose a green piece since it would be easier to carve while still wet compared to a dried seasoned piece of ash. Once the handle was shaped, the notch for the cord made, and the notch for the blade cut in, it was time to haft it all together. Otzi's blade did not have pitch or birch tar to hold the blade into the handle. It was held in by sinew, which appears to have been twisted into a single ply cord. When applying the sinew on my reproduction, I chose to twist it before applying. I also applied the sinew while wet, so that as it dried, it would shrink and tighten down, creating a stronger haft. With the sinew dried, all that was left was to make a cord to set into the groove at the end of the handle. The piece of cord left there on Otzi's dagger was made from tree bass fiber twisted into a two-ply cord. I did not have bass fiber available to me, so I used flax fiber instead. When tying it to the handle, I decided to tie the cord onto the handle, then back onto itself to form a loop for the wrist. On Otzi's knife, the cord was broken off just as it leaves the handle, so it is unknown if it formed a loop 
or was attached to something like his belt. A finished reproduction is 170 millimeters, which even accounting for the missing tip of Atsi's flint blade, is a bit longer than the original would have been. The blade is also left wider to account for possible dimensions before resharpening. Other than that, this blade was made as close to the original as I possibly could make it.